Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to do a floating bloom. <laughs> I've been really loving on my floating blooms lately, uh, but I want to bring back a color palette that uh, I did a while back. You may, some of you may remember it, some of you may not, but um, I'm feeling blues and it's kind of like a greenish blue, but uh, you'll see. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right, let's get down to the colors we're going to use, the cell activator, the pillow, and then we will get started painting. So the first color I have, surprise, <laughs> my PBS Studio Acrylics, the Iridescent Blue Black. Notice a theme here? I'm always using this color. <laughs> I can't help myself. Uh, this is mixed with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium. Actually, they're all mixed with the Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix today. That's the only one I'm using today. There's that consistency. And then this color is actually, I'm going to, I've got a few colors that I mixed to create this next one. I started with this here. This is uh, the Liquitex Basics, the uh, light blue permanent. I started with this, mixed it with my pouring medium, and then I added just a little tiny squirt of this golden fluid teal just to kind of make the color uh, just a little bit richer. And then I added in the golden fluid, The uh, this is interference violet, just to give it kind of a, a violet undertone. And uh, I want to talk about this interference violet. I've had questions about what is interference color. So as you can see, it's kind of got uh, like the, a purple cast, but it almost looks white. So, but when you see it against this bar here, you can see the, the violet shimmer. So that's what happens when it dries, when it's wet, it looks white, but as you move it around, it has kind of like a, uh, an undertone of the, the shimmer that, are, you know, there's interference of violet, there's red, there's orange, there's gold, you know, whatever shimmer, color it is. That's what interference is. When it dries, it's just the shimmer that's left behind. And on lighter colors, it's a bit more subdued. On darker colors, it's a bit more intense, but that's what uh, interference colors are. So those all mixed up is the color. I know <laughs> it really just looks like this, right? <laughs> but there is uh, like a violet undertone to it. The camera's not going to pick it up. And I did, and that teal just added just a, a shade a little bit deeper. But anyway, that's, that's what I used to get this. If you don't want to use all that, you can just use this. <laughs> My mind sometimes. This next color, I've used this color before. I love this color, is a mixture of these two. I started again with the, uh, the PBO the uh, iridescent blue black. I mixed this with my uh, pouring medium and then I added just a tiny little squirt of this Matisse Southern Ocean Blue. And if you don't have this, the uh, golden fluid turquoise is pretty similar and also the Amsterdam uh, greenish blue is really similar to this color too. So you can always substitute, you know, you, know, you don't have to use, um, I, I always show what I'm using, but you know, if you have a color that's similar to it, go for it doesn't have to be exact. This, these are, I use the colors I have. So at any rate, this is the consistency of that. Again, these are all Valspar Varathane Pouring Media Mix. My last color, I've got Joe Sonia's Black Umber. And here's this one. All right. My cell activators. I have three of them and I'm going to use all three First one I have is my gold that you see me use a lot on this channel. And they're all mixed with uh, Australian Floetrol at four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. And I'll tell you uh, what one part paint is of each of these. This gold, as you know, if you've watched before, I like to use two different golds. So it's about half a part each. You don't have to do that. It's just personal preference. But I use Atelier Interactive Pale Gold, a half a part, and then a half a part of the PBO Studio Acrylics precious gold to get my gold here. And that's the consistency of it. This black cell activator is my Atelier Interactive Mars Black. That's the one I've been using lately. And then finally, I've got Atelier Interactive Titanium White. That's what that looks like. And finally, my pillow. Okay. <laughs> 
I've got about half a container left of my PPG Multi Pro, so that's the pillow we're going to be using today. It should be just enough for, for what, uh, what we're going to do today. So now I'm going to bring you over to the canvas and explain what we're going to do. All right, my canvas just fits in the screen here. <laughs> I've got a 16-inch square uh, gallery-wrapped canvas that I've taped up the back. It's just the standard uh, sides, not the deep-sided. And I want to do a floating bloom with a background on here. And I'm hoping, again, this will be in the center. But you know what? I'm open to anything the paint wants to do today. <laughs> so we're going to do the uh, background with the, the swipes in the middle. And then we'll do the bloom. I think what I want to use is the gold cell activator in the background. Again, I really like uh, the, the subtle, soft shimmers it gives off. And then, you know, the, the flower can be a bit more bold on it. That's my idea. Anyways, we all know how it works. So I'm going to get this flooded with the uh, pillow paint and then we'll get started painting. All right. So I've got this all flooded. I'm going to use this tool here and I'll put the gold, just the gold cell activator on here and we're going to swipe like show, but I'll, I'll uh, show you when I have it on here. Like so, that's all just a thin layer and I'm going to start right here. I'm going to do at least three swipes. If I have to do four, I will. doesn't need to be perfect. I just want, uh, the lacing in the background. All right, I'm liking what's happening here. Very subtle and you know, I don't mind that it's kind of faded out here. I think that's gonna be a nice contrast because we're gonna do the bloom in the center now and it's, it's gonna be a bit bold, I think, so. First color I want to put down for this bloom is the iridescent blue black. Oops. And then I want this aqua mixture. dark kind of greenish bluish greenish I don't know what to call this <laughs> it's the southern ocean blue with the blue black I don't have an, I don't have an, an official name for it I want to put a tiny bit of the black umber I don't want it to I don't want a lot especially in the center just want just a little kind of sprinkled about. I think that's plenty. All right, so I want to put the white cell activator on first. Like so. And then we'll put the black cell activator on. a little bit messy about it but oh well all right get that back in the middle all right here we go straw for the middle. Alright. Need some really nice color blends in here. I'm gonna let that fill in. Gosh, those colors are gorgeous. Alright, let's play.
this looks awesome. I <laughs> I am so excited about the contrast of this. I I will meet you over at the spinner floor and we will see what comes of this. Here's kind of what we got before we spin it out. Just beautiful. Oh, I am so excited to see what this looks like. All right, I think I'm just going to start spinning and then we will guide it as we go. Oof. Nice. Let's see, I've got more paint over here. Whoops, let's not drip on the painting, Jode. spin. Ooh, it's starting to open us up nicely. I just want to, I want it to come down just a little. I want this side to open up a little bit more. This side up top here is opening up a little bit more. All right. So pretty. All right, I want, ooh, what do I want? I want that middle to open up, up a lot more, actually. Let's put this back in the middle. I wanted a nice, healthy spin. Ooh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. You are opening up nicely. <laughs> I don't have any cells on this side here or down here, but <clears throat> I can see there's a really there's a really neat gold uh, reflection that's going to come out. Not really worried about it, but I do want this middle part to open up just a little bit more. It was kind of stuck uh, when I blew it out with my straw, and I'm being I'm being stubborn. The paint's being stubborn and I'm being stubborn. And this can open up just slightly more. Oof, yeah. I think I can go even a little bit more. I've got enough paint to do that. We're almost there though. Almost there and it's pretty much staying in the middle. Just a little. Yeah. Ooh, that's what that needed. I think I might just do one more spin and we should be pretty good. That's over. I've still got some movement in the middle. I think some of my cells are going to get a little weird, but I am okay with it. Just about there. Oof, so close. Yeah, not much movement left. Put it down just right there. Ooh, yeah. I think that's about it. Oh, 
slide it that way. Yeah, I like it that way. That's it. All right, I'm done spinning now. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to get those petals and the wispies out as much as I could, and I don't really have movement in the center. Some of my cells are getting a little weird because uh, it was so the cell activator was so thin in there, but that's not going to make any difference. This thing is so awesome. I absolutely love it. This, to me, is a winner, winner chicken dinner. I'm going to get cleaned up, and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. Probably one of my top five favorite color palettes of all time. Oh, I just love it, and I love the contrast with the background, the gold. That's going to that's gonna be some really nice shimmers back there. And then this, these blues in here, just gorgeous, and all the shimmers. I just can't stand it. So cool. And this blue black it's gonna dry amazingly awesome see some of my little tiny baby cells in there kind of wiggling just a little bit but i drew a couple little vortexes in there i think it's gonna work out just fine this is probably my favorite swirl in this piece and i love these they look like little drops in there too but just the shimmers everywhere is just off the hook i love those cells right there so cool. This looks like it just keeps going so three-dimensional right there. I cannot wait. I love these shimmers here. I can't wait to see this one dry. So I'll be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results. And gosh, this just dried like a dream. Just so beautiful. I absolutely love this color palette. I, yeah, I did get a little bit of cell movement in the middle, but you know what? Totally not mad about it. It's just gorgeous the way it is. And uh, we'll, we'll check out the orientations and the shimmers in a little bit, but I want to dive in and just kind of bring you in and show you some of the details. Like, I love how this background just kind of stands out. And then you just get all these different shades of blue and that blue black in there is going to be really something special. Some of these cells in here kind of shifted a little bit not mad about it at all. It's gonna, it's just gonna have this really neat looking shimmer. Oh, just wait till you see the shimmer. I love that swirl. That's my favorite swirl. And I love these. They look like, wa almost like water droplets. Those, those cells right there. I just love them. And I love that contrast right there. Oh, <laughs> if I said I love this color palette, I love the background. I mean, it just, you know, some places it's bare, some places it's a bit more bold, and I really like the offset of that with this bloom. So now let's go check out the shimmers on this piece. Oof, there's that blue-black. You can see that kind of in the middle there. Just lovely. And that gold cell activator in the background. Ugh, I love, I love like it's a little secret. <laughs> you don't know it's there until you move it around. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. I wanted to bring you outside and show you this uh, in the sun, but the sun decided to go behind the clouds. So here we are. <laughs> Let's go check out some of the orientations. This is a nice orientation too. I, I like, it's kind of balanced this way as well. Another good orientation. I like this one too. Oh my gosh, this one's just as nice. I think the first one I had was was my favorite, but you know what? I think this can go anyway. I, let's check it out on the diagonal. I'm not gonna do all the diagonals, but here's one just to give you an idea. That looks really, really cool. So I'm gonna flip you around now and give you my final thoughts. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite orientation out of all of them. This was the first one and uh, I absolutely love this color palette. I love it so much. I might. I might have to bring it back again for something completely different. I haven't decided yet, but I may bring it back again before I put it on the shelf. <laughs> so let me know what you thought of this piece. I'd love to hear your favorite orientation and how you liked this piece in this color palette. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.